James Frith. Yeah. The Prime Minister is not alone in failing us. The government's backbenches are full of former ministers who claimed, I am the man who can. The first Brexit Secretary said he could, but he couldn't. The former Foreign Secretary said he could, but he couldn't. The second Brexit Secretary said he could, but he couldn't. And now they join the hardliners on their benches who all say they can, but we know they can't. Yeah. It isn't just the Prime Minister let down by this mis-selling. The country's been misled, and now the plan has been mislaid. Ultimately, though, this comes down to a failure of the Prime Minister, of her leadership, her incapacity to build consensus, to hear what is said, and most alarmingly of all, her contempt for Parliament. This Parliament has been voted in more recently than the referendum. This Parliament has been more recently anointed its authority than the referendum. My town sent me here as someone who didn't trigger Article 50. Many, because of that fact, we're a parliament more representative of the changing picture we see. And on at least three occasions in normal times, the Prime Minister's record would have cost her her job. Yeah. Yeah. These three occasions, though, Mr Speaker, were opportunities for her to change tack. To offer a tonic for the UK with a deal that united the country through the unity in this House. And we're told that Parliament needs to decide what it's for, yet we've been given no chance to decide. We've poured over this, many of us spending time doing the heavy lifting, understanding why the people felt so deprived of a say, felt so overlooked that they pulled the leave cord in 2016 to stop the show. So we must extend Article 50 and establish what for. Indicative votes and a process of collecting the way forward. Fill a deal with content that speaks to the support for one in this House, one with a customs union and a direction to deal with the world, with the protections of our people and our planet. And then, Mr Speaker, take this deal and seek further permission on it. Yeah. Not from the pomp in the party opposite, but from the public. Yeah. Go back and seek further instruction from them. Let them hold it up to the light for their final say. Let Britain have her last word, to stick or twist to back it or keep what we've got. Britain's voted to leave and remain in their millions. And then this changed parliament was ushered in. Division is still palpable, and all the doorsteps and the polling in the country tells us there is no magic healing number. Yep. Compromise is a must. So the content of a deal with the permission of the public marry this changed parliament to the changing picture we see. And of course, everyone reserves the right to vote the same way again. Absolutely. And at that point, I will support a deal before arguing we don't know what we've got until it's gone. Right. Yeah.